Well, with stop signs, street signs, yield signs, and more, in all, the city of Naperville has about 35,000 signs around town. NCTV 17's Michelle Corliss went to the city sign shop to learn how the signs are made. Each of these signs is made right here in Naperville. Tucked away in the back of Naperville's Public Works building is the city's sign shop. We make and manufacture all of our signs. Uh, that lets us be very responsive. Um, we can control if we need a stop sign right away. We can do it right away. The first step to making a sign is to open up the computer program and select the sign you want to make. Like any other program, you hit print, the signs just come out of a different type of printer. These, all the other different colors film, like the green is for street signs, the red, you'll see that for no parkings. Right. After the sign's been printed, happens. it goes over to be cut and prepared together. to be put up. The first step, cutting away the excess film. The process is like carving an elephant from a piece of stone. You pull away all the parts that don't look like an elephant. Or in this case, we pull off the sheeting. The next step is to put the backing on. This side road sign, as any driver knows, will be a yellow warning sign. Sign shop workers use a squeeze roller to put the pieces of the sign together. Now we just lay this black film on top and what that does is it obliterates the reflectivity so at night you see the same message you see during the day. After a sign's finished, it gets scheduled to be put up. One of the biggest challenges sign shop employees face is sign damage. From traffic accidents to vandalism, each damaged sign needs to be replaced right away. The sticker price of a sign starts at $100, so the damages can really add up. Reporting from the Public Works Building, Michelle Corliss, Naperville News 17. Shop employees say making signs is just one part of helping traffic control in Naperville.